There is a battle raging in our public schools over how history will be taught. Advocates of critical race theory have smuggled curricula into thousands of schools in an effort to rewrite history and portray the settling and founding of America as acts of unvarnished white supremacism. We must freely acknowledge and regret the past stains on our national character. But false and deceptive propaganda like the 1619 Project from the New York Times is an historical travesty. This revolutionary educational scheme says the real founding of America was in 1619 when the first slaves arrived on these shores. This narrative, fresh from the Lewis Carroll School of Experimental History, is a wholly inaccurate recasting of history solely for political purposes. In reality, such projects are simply an attempt to implement Marxist principles in American society, using race as the dividing principle for revolution. But we know that effort has little or nothing to do with actually caring for black lives. If it were, the first issue on their agenda would be abortion. In 2020, 18 unarmed black people tragically died in police shootings in America. According to the Washington Post's comprehensive database on this subject. Meanwhile, in 2018, the most recent year for which we have good data, more than 117,000 black children were killed in the womb. Contemplate that for just a moment and ask yourselves, do black lives really matter to these Marxist revolutionaries? Which of these two things dominates all the conversation? The reality is that a virtual genocide is taking place around us. According to a recent CDC report, for every 1,000 black children born alive in America, 474 more were being killed by abortion. And yet, the Black Lives Matter organization works with pro-abortion groups for so-called reproductive justice, which is code for taxpayer-funded abortions. All this is as astounding as it is heartbreaking. While our race-baiting public ideologues focus on much rarer incidents in order to further their neo-Marxist agenda, the greatest threat to African-American children is abortion by a factor of thousands. And very few of these loudly proclaiming that black lives matter actually demonstrate that they really care at all.